Hey y'all, Miss Victoria here has been dating a divorced guy for about a year now. He's got a child with his ex-wife and she just at times feels a little overwhelmed, looking for a little advice on how to get through those tough spots. Ladies, I'm sure a lot of you guys may have been or are in this situation where your man has a previous marriage, a previous life built up with somebody, and now you're kind of coming in maybe feeling like the odd person out, maybe feeling like a little bit of an outsider still, even if you've been with him for a while, or maybe just being overwhelmed by different stresses that keep hitting you from this other relationship he had and the things that are still tied to it in between him and her. So how do we get through it? Well, first I want to talk about two different situations. One situation that he is hopefully going through right now. Then I want to talk about a situation for you that you hopefully can avoid. And then after that, I'm going to talk about a couple different things you two can do as a couple to hopefully jive those two situations into a single, cohesive, happy, and healthy relationship. So number one, for him, the situation he finds himself in, there's a phenomenon that men go through, that we see men oftentimes go through anyways, after they've been divorced and once they found a woman that they truly want to be with. He's past the fling stage, he's past having fun, he's found a woman he's falling for, and wants to build something permanent, or even he's already gotten married to the second woman. That's called the second wife phenomenon. What it usually stems from is the fact that these second marriages seem to be much, much better, much more open, much more loving than the first ones did, not have a lot of the issues that the first ones did. They seem to be almost too good. Why is that? Well, a lot of it stems from the fact that he has gone through a first marriage. He fell for somebody, and he went through all the good and the bad with that, which means he saw all the red flags that he missed the first time around. He saw the things that he thought were green flags that turned out to be red flags. He saw the behaviors and the attitudes and the personality traits that he either A, really, really realized he wants from a woman, or really realized he doesn't want from a woman. And then he found you. And after he found you, he was able to analyze all those different traits, which I promise you he did. He lined you up and everything he knew about you with everything he knew about his ex. And he went down the list of good and bad. And you don't have the bad, and you do have the good. He chose you, knowing everything, having that extra experience, having that deeper and bigger knowledge base about women and about what he wants in a relationship and from a woman. He chose you. And that's an incredibly powerful thing. You're not his second choice. You're not a second option. You are his choice. You're the choice he made after he learned what he truly wants. You are what he truly wants. That's important to remember. Especially if you're starting to feel overwhelmed or have these negative thoughts come into your life. Because what that is, the situation that's called second wife syndrome. Second wife phenomenon, good. Second wife syndrome, not so good. These are the feelings of inadequacy. These are the feelings of being overwhelmed, of being stressed out from the relationship, from his prior relationships, and the ones that he still has and is forced to be tied into with her. And they can affect you. They should affect you. The fact that they do shows that you actually care about this guy, that you actually care about the relationship you have with him, and that you want to grow it into something deeper. It's a good thing. Stress isn't always bad. Sometimes it lets you know you're on the right path. So, second wife syndrome. It often comes, you're in his family, you're just the second woman. You're doing something with him, you know he's done it 500 times with his ex, it's just you along for the ride, it's his experience his life, you're just now a part of it. But where that stems from is simply a lack of self-confidence and self-worth. You need to go back to that first, second wife phenomenon to realize you're his choice. You're the real choice he made when he knew better. You're the one he truly wants. Let that sink into you and let that be what builds up your confidence in your relationship. Knowing that you're the choice he made when he had all the info of what he truly wants in life. And the second thing you can do to build it up is create new first, new first time experiences. You're with him, I'm sure most of the places you go, most of the things you do are things he's done dozens and dozens of times with his ex. They're not new experiences and you know that. They're experiences that he shared with somebody else and now he's just sharing with you. 
So if you can go out and make new first for yourself, if you can go out and go traveling, go visit somewhere, go camping just down the road somewhere, go to new stores or new restaurants that you know neither of you have been before, any little thing you can do like that is building up the experiential base of your relationship. It's no longer tied to his ex. It's something that's just between the two of you that's unique. And that's building the two of you up and bringing you closer. And of course, the next one is communication. You have to be willing to openly communicate how you're feeling, the fact that you're feeling overwhelmed at times. The fact that maybe you feel like an outsider at times, you're an outcast still, even if you're with his family or doing something. And the fact that you feel like lots of times maybe there's all these experiences that you haven't gotten to make with him. And give him a chance to actually address it, give him a chance to realize what you're going through and to realize that maybe it's all wonderful in his head. He's going through the second wife phenomenon. So he may not even realize that you have these stresses. And by communicating openly, you first off build that basic communication within the relationship. But what's more, you're letting him know the negatives that you're going through and giving him a chance to redress and correct them and make sure that you have the confidence and the support and the emotional safety that he's feeling already. So I hope this helps. Hope it wasn't just 67 minutes of rambling. And I wish you guys all the best.